250 million years ago, a series of unrelated changes to the Earth resulted in a dramatic change to life. The continents had been moving together and had formed one huge supercontinent called Pangaea. This huge landmass reduced the coastline, reducing the habitats for marine life. At the same time, sea levels dropped dramatically, exposing and killing all those species living on the continental shelf. 90% of marine life was destroyed. On land, this coincided with a catastrophic event in what is now Siberia. It's very hard to imagine what may have happened when these lava erupted. The volumes, the size, the speeds involved. This is not something that has been seen since the human race exists, since the human species exists. You should try to imagine a fissure, a crack in the Earth's crust, possibly 400 kilometers long, spewing lava, throwing material, dust, but most importantly, gases, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, that will eventually lead to acid rain, darkness, cooling, altering vegetation, uh, destroying animals that would need vegetation for support, and eventually killing animals that would eat animals that ate vegetation, so the whole life chain being completely changed. Many teams around the world have collected samples from this lava and dated it very accurately and found that it was precisely 250 million years old. Massive volcanic outpourings like these, which ruin ecosystems, destroying food chains, are regular events in the history of the Earth. These volcanic eruptions are part of a very important rhythm of the Earth. The planet is essentially trying to cool down, and that heat leaves with that big bubble of rock, which, when coming to the surface, melts and produces, through cracks induced in the Earth's crust, the gigantic lava outpourings. It shows that the Earth's geology has a direct influence in changing the course of evolution at certain times, but in a gigantic way. Was it not for these catastrophes? Well, life on Earth today would be completely different, and most likely, we would not be here.